This morning in our new series, New Year, New You, Who Says You Can't Hurry Love? Nicholas Boothman is author of How to Make Someone Fall in Love with You in 90 Minutes or Less. Good morning, Nicholas. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I have to say, when I saw the title, I was a little skeptical. I always thought you can't make someone love you, and certainly not in 90 Minutes. No, well, the first bit, you're right. You can't make somebody love you. But you know what? Um, the quest for true love is not really about getting a date. It's about finding the right person. And this book defines, and, and for everybody out there who's done it, they know that when they find the right person, it doesn't take 90 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, it's absolutely not. You can sow the seeds of love very, very quickly. It's like you had me at hello. You kind of know no <laughs> Instantly. Absolutely. You know, the thing is, most people don't get out and meet enough people. So the book goes into that, you know. Uh, look, here's the thing. Opportunity never knocks. You have to go out and find it. That's so true. It, absolutely. And the first thing that, that you say, which I love, is find your matched opposite. Would you explain what yeah. a matched opposite is? We looked at almost 2,000 people who've been crazy about each other for more than 20 years to write this book. Turns out that they're matched opposites. They are, they're, it's, a, it's a blend of like attracts like and opposites attract. You have to like each other, so you have to share values and motivations, but you have to be opposite in your personality traits. Because what we found was, um, because as everybody knows, falling in love and staying in love are completely separate things. But what we found is that, is that um, is that in each person, there is one key feeling that needs to be validated. Uh, and there are only four key feelings. So when you can find out what the key feeling is, and you can do it with two simple questions, that person has to make you feel that way. And so uh, let's say, for example, that you're uh, socially outgoing and, uh, and, and, uh, and more rational than emotional, okay? then you're a controller. You need to be with somebody who makes you feel powerful. If you're on a date or meeting someone and they don't make you feel powerful, it will never work. What are the two key questions? Th those are the two key questions. Let me ask you. Okay. Uh, are, uh -oh. you are, are you, well, would you, <laughs> uh, do you consider yourself more rational than emotional or emotional than rational? More emotional okay, than rational. Okay, fine. Are you more socially outgoing or more socially reserved? Ooh. On TV, outgoing, but I think I'm more reserved. Then you're, really. then you're a supporter. You need to be with somebody who makes you feel valued. Oh, and my husband does, so there, there you go. There you go. Of course, it has to be mutual, so we right. have to find out what his is. But that's what we found. So it's that simple. When you find your key feeling, you, you have the key to, to okay, find Okay, so, so now you know who you're looking for, but finding the perfect person for you is a whole other story. How do you go about that? Well, you have to get, as I said, opportunity never knocks, but once you know... So how do you go out there? What, how do you recommend we socialize in? You have, to do, you have to do active socializing. You have to get out. There's a socializing action plan in the book. Find things that you enjoy doing. Get out and start, start mixing with people. Um, Entertain once a week. Uh, accept every reasonable offer. Uh, go on in internet dating. We have a whole new, brand new chapter in here on how to find your matched opposite online. Online it's much easier because you're focused, you know what you're looking for. And lastly, you say put uh, emotional intimacy kind of on the fast track. H how do you speed that up? Well, okay, so, so you've found the person. This is when you make, when you sow the seeds of love in 90 minutes or less. It's simple. You do it through, you do it with words. You do it through conversation. So you have to have a date. You have to go to the right place for a date, which is not a restaurant where you're watching each other shoving food in your mouth and the one you go to the toilet. What is it like a park? It, it, something that the other person will find, feel safe and find interesting. There okay. are four criteria for a date, but it's simple. And it has to be memorable because it has to build romance in early on in the thing. But you do it through something called low, medium and high risk self-disclosure, mutually. I tell you something about myself which may be low risk, which is something interesting, and you have to give it back to me. There are ways of encouraging. Then we move on to medium risk. I tell you something about myself, maybe a dream or something, or whatever, and you give it back to me. We actually get a mutual enthusiasm going, and it, and it goes on from there. But it begins with small talk, uh -huh. leading to play talk, uh -huh. and then low and medium risk, high disclosure. People fall really in love through the stories they tell each other. I love that. This is very interesting. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much.